Guess what? We're off for grocery haul. I don't know why I'm finding it so exciting doing grocery hauls, but we're three months in to 2024 and we haven't really done a big shop. So this is going to be exciting and we pre-planned because guess what Superstore is offering if we spend $300 or more? You got it! A turkey! And we actually know about it this time, so we're going for a turkey. <laughs> Let's go! And it's time to go shopping. Can I be good enough? Sure you can. And I've got my handy dandy helper. I'm in charge of bags. And my other handy dandy helper. Look at that full court. Super exciting! Time to go check out. Hopefully there's somebody working at the till. So, I can't believe it. We actually were short and had to go and buy something else in order to make the $300. I have to say, I do think either we're buying smarter or the groceries have started to come down a little bit in price. But we also bought a whole lot of cat food products, which you're going to see when we get home. But we'll get it laid out and we'll bring you back when we're ready to tell you what we bought. All right, we are back. It's the dreaded part, right? Of putting everything away and figuring out where it goes. But first, we've laid it all out on the table. And I have to admit, as we get it all laid out, it doesn't seem as impressive. But then as we go through the receipt and kind of work out some numbers to share with you guys, it puts it all into perspective that it is pretty impressive. And the one thing, as I was saying in the parking lot, is I do think some prices are improving, at least on those basic products that we kind of buy. We don't buy a lot of... Uh, processed food so I think on the basic items the, the prices did seem better and like I said we're basically almost where we are three months pretty much from the last time we did a big shop so that's a pretty big gap for prices to change so here's everything laid out on the table as you can see there's quite a bit of a cat section but we'll talk about that but one thing we did get this time was a little bit more of the fresh produce type stuff lettuces that sort of thing because i think after february and eating out of jars and trying to really really budget it's nice to have fresh grapes fresh fruit that sort of thing so that was a bit of a splurge this time around uh, but all in all i think this is going to restock the pantry immensely and another thing that we've actually just finished discussing, which we should have got on camera, is we might go back again. Because why not? It was a great opportunity to get a free turkey. So we ended up, we bought a thing of cat litter and three seven kg bags of cat food. We actually do like the cat food from President's Choice. It's good quality, it doesn't have corn. If you're looking for a good nutritious cat food, it is a good one. Uh, but basically that made up a huge chunk of our uh, receipt or our spending for this haul. It was $125 almost for just the cats. But the wonderful thing about that is it's a product that we need constantly and it pushes us over that $300 limit when there's a good prize at the end. And the other thing I should add is three bags of cat food. That's a couple months supply of cat food for us, even with six cats. So uh, this is not by any means going to disappear quickly. We've kind of done a big haul for the cats in order to get us over that $300. All right, so I'm not going to go through every single item on here and give you price recounts of it. I'm going to go through some of the real kind of good deals we thought were there and also the things that really we just wanted to have more of. <laughs> so first I'm going to start with the coffee. Coffee is something that we keep at least a six month supply of and if we had to ration that we could make it go a year but we both love our coffee around here. These guys they're whole bean because we have a grinder so these were $11.99 each we actually have never had the opportunity to pick up the espresso one because it's always all gone by the time we get there. So we got it. We've never tried it. So we also got the Colombian as well, just in case. So those ones and the other thing that was on the list, which is completely an emergency type need to have, I guess. When Chris is away, it doesn't make sense to perk up a whole pot with the ground coffee. So I always have instant on hand just in case. Frozen corn. This is sweet corn. We grow popcorn, not sweet corn here on the homestead. So that is something that we usually stockpile. And I will admit we ran out of corn in the freezer in January. So it's been a hard go for me because corn is one of my favorite things to add to everything. So we've got a 
bunch of bags of the peaches and cream corn. So that should hopefully do us for a little while. I actually told Chris to get four and he only got three and I didn't realize it at the time. So that might be on our next shopping trip as well. Another thing that we added, this was something that we tried. The last time we went shopping, we picked these guys up. They are a sweet potato, um, like a rice noodle. And we tried them the other day in our chow mein and they were, um, no, it wasn't chow mein. What was it? We tried them the other day in our, um, what's the peanutty I thing? Have tried them the other day. No, what's the peanut thing that we make with the, that Alex likes so much that has the noodles? Pad Thai. Uh, so we used these the other day when we had pad thai and they were amazing. We hadn't opened them in February because we didn't want to budget them. Not that they're expensive. They were $1.79 per pack. And this does for the four of us for a meal. So uh, great buy. So we got two more of those. Okay, so basically kind of in this whole center area, we just have stuff that I noted in our uh, pantry tour there the other day. We were running low of and I wanted to stockpile. The uh, brown sugar was on for $2.79. Not the best price I've seen, but decent enough that it was worth it. The uh, oat flour has really taken a drop. That was $4.99. It was $6.99 the last time we had gone uh, shopping, so that's pretty fantastic. Pepper's expensive no matter what, but those spices, we needed them. Worcestershire sauce, I dipped down to the no-name brand because the uh, Liam Perrins was just too pricey. But to be honest, the ingredients list was the same, so I feel comfortable with that. We picked up one more white wine vinegar because James brought one up the other day for his uh, pulled pork and barbecue sauce. And uh, we always like to make sure we restock when we remove something. And kind of last thing and in going back into the pantry is our nachos. Tacos really are like, you know, nachos put in the oven with meat on top and cheese and all the melted goodness really are a go-to for us when it starts getting into busy or garden season and that sort of thing. And I know it seems far away, but Garden clean out is coming, and as the nights draw out, sometimes we're not back in until almost nine o'clock, so throwing nachos in the oven works awesome. So that's why we bought four, even though we still have three downstairs. And really for dairy, other than the sour cream and the cheese, that's all we got. The sour cream, we really only buy it at Superstore. They carry the gold gaily, which we really like at a great price. And we love their cheese for not having any modified milk ingredients. It really is good cheese. It wasn't on sale this time, but we were there and we were trying to hit the 300 bucks. So we ended up, that was that item that we ran back to get one more to get us over the $300 range. Another thing that I forgot to mention as we were going through what was going back into the pantry, I picked up a celery seed. Boy, oh boy, celery seed is hard to find. I am gonna have to look online and I'm pretty sure somebody on here is going to be able to recommend a good spot to get that. but. I wanted to pick it up now because I use it a lot in canning season, especially in our tomato juice. And that's something that when it comes to the time of year when I need it, I can never find it. So that guy was five bucks. And really that will only do maybe three batches of my tomato juice, maybe four. So we go through a lot of tomato juice, so I would need a couple of these. So any suggestions, definitely put them down in the comments below because I would appreciate it. Canadian, of course. Uh, this is something that we definitely uh, are striving towards being able to produce ourselves, celery seed, but we have yet to achieve overwintering the celery to get the biannual to go to seed. So uh, fingers crossed, you'll have to watch Hickory Grove Farm to see if that uh, ever does pan out, but we've been trying, trust me. So until then, we are stuck buying. So now we're on to kind of the more fresh produce that we bought and who as a good shopper can walk by a discount rack and not check it out and see what's there, right? And it was loaded, it was loaded. We got these uh, rutabagas. And yes, we grew a lot of rutabagas this year, but one thing we discovered is we love rutabagas. We use them all the time, mashed with potatoes and squash all in the same pot, a little bit of horseradish and butter. Oh my gosh, honestly, we make that so much now. I never have just plain mashed potatoes. So these were reduced 30%. They are starting, let's see if I can find the one here. Uh, they're starting to kind of get their green leaves on the end, which is why I'm assuming that they were reduced because they're still very firm. If there was more than one bag, I would have bought it, but there was only one bag left. So we got that. And also on the reduced rack, oh, we got a whole bunch of organic bananas. Now, 
The one thing I will say, this new pricing system of the 30% off, rather than actually labeling how much something is, this was still $6, which was actually a surprise to me. I wasn't anticipating it was going to be that, but as many of you know, we chop them up, lay them flat in the freezer to flash freeze, then we bag them and we use them in smoothies or banana breads or things like that. So still a great purchase, but not quite the deal I used to remember getting on bananas when you got them off the reduced rack. And basically that's pretty much it. The other things that we got, grapes. Grapes were a splurge, but they were on sale and they looked amazing. I mean, lately, I don't know if it's the right season for grapes somewhere, but the grapes that have been being imported are just mm, yummy. Mushrooms, because that's a real treat. They don't keep for long though, so we got to plow through that container quite quickly. And a big thing of lettuce. Even though our let pot is growing us lettuce, it's not growing enough lettuce to actually uh, have a big uh, amount of. And a cabbage. Now that one, I have to say, surprised me at how much it cost, but we do like cabbage cut up in uh, pasta or stir fry or uh, our uh, chow mein, that sort of thing, because it kind of bulks it out so that we don't have to have so much carb type products. So cabbage is worth it, but it definitely was a little bit pricey. I need to learn a bit more about growing some cabbage. Just so you know, there is more but it's on a different receipt. So I'm going to kind of wrap this purchase up first and then we're going to visit the one that I think is pretty impressive. At the beginning, I talked about the cat food. We all, taking all of that off the receipt, we had $198 worth of groceries here, which actually isn't too bad. But the real bonus, I think, comes from the fact that we shopped at Superstore and we got points. And we got more points than we had any clue we were going to get, actually. We ended up picking up 23,000 points, which is basically $23 worth, right? And not only that, we got the free turkey, which uh, as many of you know, if you watched our freezer challenge video, previously we'd gotten a turkey and it was still in the freezer. And then we got another turkey. We did eat one, but there's still one down there. And now we're gonna add another one. So maybe next January, you'll see these come out in the next freezer challenge. <laughs> Cause that's how often we seem to dig down in there. But all in all, great deals out there at Superstore this week. And I think we took advantage and we shopped really, really well. We stuck to the basics that we needed. There was a few little splurge items, but all in all for 200 bucks worth of actual groceries, I do think we didn't do half bad. So last week, Food Basics had a great deal on something that we use quite a bit of here in the homestead. And I didn't take you shopping on that one because to be honest, it was a get in, get out. We got one product from three different stores <laughs> and it tallied up to be 24 jars of maple syrup. I'll just show you, hang on. I might be able to lift it. Oh my goodness. So in total, this is 13 liters of maple syrup. And this time we got the amber and the dark versions because one's really nice on pancakes and one's amazing on granola and for cooking. But 24 jars of those came to, I'm gonna cry when I say this, hopefully my parents don't watch. <laughs> $167, but in all fairness, that will last us at least two years, at least two years. And I'm not gonna say that we wouldn't splurge here and there, or if it wasn't on sale again, that we wouldn't buy more, but it is maple syrup season here and it is plentiful, but that was a deal that was just too good to pass up. So we hit three stores, eight jars from each store. And I think we did an amazing job. So in total, for this grocery haul, including last week's food basics for maple syrup only, and everything that you see from Superstore today, including the cat food and cat litter, we were $490.43. So just about 500 bucks. When I say it that way, it doesn't sound as good. <laughs> Cause now I go, oh, I spent $500. But this is a stockpile that will last for quite some time and Stay tuned because maybe I'll treat you to another one if we go back and try and get another turkey. Oh, 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 and guess what? This is absolutely nothing to do with groceries, but as many of you know, I also, I say I, it's the royal I. Chris and I also raise Icelandic sheep and I spin all that fleece. And I got myself another yarn swift. 
If you don't know what this is, I'm gonna splice in a shot right now showing my yarn drying on this Swift. And uh, this was exciting because I got it at Michael's. It was 40% off with the coupon, 25 bucks. That's a deal. I might even go back and get myself another one. 